So no, I'm just kidding. I know that annoys some people. Hey! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jen. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you already know what to do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that no post notification bell. That way you can be notified every time I upload a new video and give this video a thumbs up. Hey! You see, I'm getting better at this. Well, can you guys tell I'm in a good mood? <laughs> I'm in a good mood. By the way, guys, guess who got short nails? Um, I took them off. My nails look horrible right now, but I took them off. This one broke, and then this one lifted up. When it was, you know, when it's time to get a refill, that they start to lift. And it was just annoying. My hair kept getting caught underneath it, and I was just like, you know what? It's quarantine. It's time to let the natural nails breathe. Maybe this is the best time to let your nails breathe. Be all natural. Be as natural as you can. No heat into your hair, no acrylic nails, no lashes, none of that. Listen, you're going to be glowing and beautiful after quarantine is done. Right now, it is 10 p.m. I was supposed to film this video earlier, but I got all caught up making TikTok videos and... There goes my responsibility. So I'm actually really excited because today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. So I got a few products to start off the spring perfectly fine. Also, I needed to restock on some things. And there has been a few things that I've had my eye out on. So if you guys want to see what products I got, this is the video for you. Grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack. Put your feet up. We're going to start with the boring stuff. So I... I got from Amazon Prime, where are my scissors at? Just grab these little cosmetic scissors. They're not made for this. We're gonna use them. We're gonna use them. I use them. rounds <laughs> I told you guys it was gonna be boring so I needed to restock on some cotton rounds only because um, sometimes I use them this is not opening the right way but I like to have cotton rounds only because um, I do get a lot of use of it just for um, purposes like when I'm waxing my upper lip or my eyebrows or when I'm applying toner or when I'm applying just anything to the face that needs cotton, cotton that you need something soft with. Next up, another boring one. Um, I got a shower curtain, but since I already I opened this one already, but since I already put the curtain up, I'm gonna show you guys a before and after. This is what my curtain looked like before. The reason why I got a new curtain was because, as you guys can tell, it gets all nasty and gross, and it just gets all like. I don't know, like blurry and dirty and everything sticks to it and you can see it more because it's see-through. I like see-through shower curtains because I like the bathroom to be bright and I like natural sunlight. And, and I was tired of getting the same clear one over and over. So since this is spring, you know, I got this little, um, I got this little leafy one and it's actually really cute. It's kind of the same material, but I feel like when it gets a little gunky and nasty, you won't be able to, be able to tell as much. Even though you do have to change your shower curtain um, often, but I was doing it too often. Like I spent a lot of money on little shower curtains And I also got little plastic rods to go up top because these plastic rods that I had as you guys can tell they were getting rusty um, I like the metal look and I like the silver look, but mm -mm, this wasn't working out But as you can tell that the after is so much more cuter than the before I actually like this curtain a lot and it was only like $10.99. Oh guys and another thing is um, everything, anything that I got from Amazon, I'm going to be adding it to my Amazon store. I currently made an Amazon influencer account. I got approved for it. Thank you guys, by the way. Um, so anything that I purchased from Amazon that I do recommend will be on my Amazon store. So keep an eye out for that. I also got some lashes. Well, I didn't get them, but this, um, brand from Instagram, they sent me, um, three lashes, like three pairs of lashes and different styles three different styles of lashes and a pack and a pack of makeup brushes i'm going to show you guys really quick what the makeup brushes look like i used them today actually for this makeup look and it came out really really nice like look at how pretty these makeup brushes are they are aesthetically pleasing and they actually do work they're not like those like they're not like brushes that just look good but don't work good they actually work good 
And also, these are the lashes that she sent me. This one is brunch. How pretty is that? I think their lashes run for like $15 or $10. I'll add everything and all the information on the description box below. Yeah, so their lashes vary. They run they vary from like they vary from $5 to $10 which is honestly a really good price. You guys can use these over and over. This is a different style. This one is Spotlight. You guys can use these lashes over and over. You can wash these lashes. Um, when I have real mink lashes, I wash them. I soak them. If you guys wanna see a video on how I take care of my lashes, let me know. This one's airplane mode, and this is the style that I have on. I'll show you guys, this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. And I'm already loving it. Like it gives me such a like a flirty like, I don't know, so cute. But anyways, thank you so much, 24 Beauty & Co. Ladies, if you need new lashes, please make sure that you check them out. They have good quality things. They have lashes such as makeup brushes. You cannot beat this price for mink lashes. Mink lashes, you already know, they run from 20 to $30. And we already know what brands are these. We already know how expensive mink lashes can really get. So and if you're wondering, damn, why so much money for mink lashes? It's because mink lashes last you the most and you can wash them like i said and you can use them multiple times over and over and also they're the best quality lashes and i'm not just saying that because they sent me lashes i'm saying it because i'm saying it because you know a good lash when you see it the band is thick and it is fluffy as hell she also packed it super cute honestly i wanted to open it in camera but i couldn't wait plus i needed to make a tiktok video and I needed, you know, new lashes. You know, your girl was struggling with some lashes. So I had, <laughs> she came through. Listen, she came through. So make sure y'all check them out for me. The moment you guys have been waiting for. Well, the moment I've been waiting for. The fun box. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I just finished eating. Now I feel better. So we can finish this. Where was that? Okay, so this. I spent $180. At Ulta and only skincare products. Ooh, a sample. I'm gonna give this to my friend because I already have this foundation. Actually, a really good foundation. If you guys are looking for a, uh, a new foundation that's like medium to full coverage and it's not like too matte or whatever, I recommend this one. I have this one. I was very skeptical about it at first because I don't like dewy foundations, I don't like shiny foundations, I don't like I can only, I can deal with like velvety matte foundation and I can deal with like semi matte but not fully matte. The only foundation that I can deal with that's fully matte is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is the one I have on today, and Fenty. And the only way that I can deal with those foundations is by using a dewy setting spray and a hydrating primer. So anyways, like I was saying, I have the shade 340C. It's honestly a really good foundation. All right, guys, let's get into it. I'm so excited. All right, so let's start with this setting spray, which is Anastasia as well. I got the Anastasia Dewy Setting Spray um, only because I honestly, I I always go back and forth between, I would say, I would say five setting sprays, like three that are high end and then two that are on the drugstore side. So the drugstore ones would be the NYX Mattifying Setting Spray and then the Makeup Forever Sports, Sports Fix. That spray is really good, especially in the summertime. Oh my God. And then the high end setting sprays, I'll show you guys right now. My Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection Max mac fix plus you guys know i love this thing and then the anastasia dewy setting spray i tried this for the first time last year and well not last year last summer and i fell in love with it i fell in love with the packaging i fell in love with the product itself i fell in love with the way it mists and the way it smells and it's so like ugh, it just makes my makeup so ugh. the reason why i got this is like i was saying i have a very matted matted foundation which is this one the estee lauder um double wear and it's very very like matte no matter it doesn't even matter doesn't matter if i use a hydrating primer girl forget about it it's super dry so i got this dewy setting spray i went back to my dewy setting spray to balance it out and because it just gives me like such a like a refreshing like feel like mm. 
Like, do you guys see that? Oh, and it smells so good. Mm. All right, next up, I got this vitamin C tripeptide collagen protecting cream by Bliss. I'm a really big fan of the brand Bliss only because only because they're like paraben free my skin never gets irritated from them and honestly i just i don't know why i just always been a big fan of the brand this every time i try something from them it never lets me down i've tried their face mask i have their marshmallow their mellow marshmallow face mask i also have their jelly face wash which is really good the makeup um the makeup melter or something like that i think it's called it's really good and i've tried their um watermelon watermelon toner watermelon toner oh my god that thing is amazing and i should have honestly i should have got that so this is an eye cream i'm really which i'm really excited about um i am a big fan of under eye creams i saw this at ulta and i don't know why i didn't take it with me i think it's because i was makeup shopping for my makeup kit when i go in shopping for my clients i strictly try to stick to that that's why i like it because they're major products like this they don't have like a crazy heavy smell and i'm very excited about this i can't wait to give you guys a skincare video lord knows if it was long overdue all right guys next up is this um is this vanilla bean goat milk body lotion by dianis i've heard really good things about this oh my god it smells so good mm. i've heard really really good things about this brand um this is my first time trying it. When it comes to body lotions, I like to use really good lotions because I like to just be lathered and very moisturized. And when it comes to body lotions and body products, I'm always looking for something new. I'm always looking for something to satisfy my skin. And honestly, I heard that this right here, this is it. So this is um, the body lotion. This is what it looks like. I'm very excited about this. And this was honestly not even that pricey. And then I also got this Shea Moisture um, Papaya and Vitamin C Brightener Days Ahead Face Moisturizer. This to me looked really good only because I love the brand Shea Moisture. Shea Moisture. Shea, Mo Shea Moisture. I've tried their hair products. I have a primer from them. It's like a moisturizing coconut primer, like a luminizing primer. And I use that by itself in the summertime and it gives me such a like a glowy like... It gives me such a like a glowy sheer healthy skin vibe type of look i don't know how to explain it but this um i wanted to try this i saw this on influencer and and it caught my attention because i normally never get moisturizers that are like this pumpable and sometimes it smells good also it was also it was at a really reasonable price and it's this is for all skin types it's cruelty free and it's also very affordable the only thing i would say about this is if you have oily skin i wouldn't recommend this because this is very thick and it has like that like thick creamy consistency sometimes my my skin needs um thick a thick moisturizer like this but this is really good to use like in the morning i guess since it's a brightener moisturizer i like to use stuff like that in the morning and then also I got this um, Makeup Revolution blush. This one is in the shade Blusher Reloaded. And this is actually really cute. I needed a new blush because my blushes, they're all like old and disappearing and hit and pan. So I got this one and it looks so pretty. It's similar to like, it's similar to that um, one blush by kylie cosmetics that i've been wanting to try for a minute but it's always sold out and it is so pretty next up it's another bliss product and this is the renew and smooth Gly glycolic polyhydro <laughs> this is the renew and smooth Gly glycolic polyhydro high hydrox roxy acid i'm gonna put that on the screen so you guys read it out for me Anyways, it's a night serum. I love the brand Bliss and I love their packaging. I love their products and I love like the way it responds to my skin. And honestly, I wouldn't say it's super affordable, but I wouldn't say it's expensive. So if you want like a dupe for like a high-end product, I would say look for it in Bliss because you would find it. This is a Renew and Smooth Serum. It says at night massage onto clean dry skin. Avoid eye area, allow to absorb, then follow with a moisturizer if desired. 
mild tingling may occur as you begin using this product begin by using every other night fuck around use it every night <laughs> so i'm looking forward to using this i think i'm gonna use this tonight when i take my makeup off who am i kidding i am gonna use this tonight when i take my makeup off i'll let you guys know how this works out for me also make sure that you follow me on tiktok because i do be doing a lot of skincare videos there i am gonna do more consistently i might do one tonight when i take my makeup off so make sure you follow me on tiktok by the time i upload this video by the way the video is already going to be on TikTok. So I'm very excited about this um, night serum. Let's see. Ooh. Listen, Bliss does not play that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this. I'm going to love this. It's that watery jelly consistency. Look at that. Yep. My skin is going to look so good tomorrow. Ooh. Gracias, Papa Dios. All right. Next up, I have I got mascara and I got eyeliner as you guys saw in all of my previous videos i've always used this little mini eyeliner it's by maybelline it's the maybelline precise all day it's a really really good eye it's a really good eyeliner ulta gave it to me for free because i bought like a certain amount and then they just gave me like a few products for free but i tried this i was very like i was gonna give it to my sister i was like i don't need this girl i tried it and i was like she don't need this <laughs> so i ended up getting the full size also, mascara, I got the, um, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. Listen, when it comes to mascaras, I don't hassle too much. I stick to a few. I always get either this one. Um, I'll get the, I normally get Lash Paradise, or I'll get this Black Carbon one, or I'll get the, um, Better Than Sex by Too Faced, or I'll get, um, Worth the Hype by, by NYX. That mascara is very underrated and it's such a good mascara. Like that mascara, I can use that mascara with no lashes and it'll make my lashes look really good. All right, so moving on. More skincare. Um, I've never tried The Ordinary before. I don't know if you guys have. I saw it before a few months ago and I never thought about trying it because I was like, you know what, what's so good about it if it's so cheap? This thing was $7. And I'm not saying that I don't like cheap products. I Listen, I live for a bargain. I live for saving money. You guys already know this. I live for dupes. I live for a drugstore. I live for it all. But when it comes to certain, when it comes to skincare sometimes, you know, you want to treat your skin really good. So I've heard really good things about it. I kept seeing this product everywhere on Instagram. Um, I saw it on this YouTube channel that I'm subscribed to that I always watch. It's called Beauty Within. If you guys never um, saw their channel, make sure you check them out. It's all about skincare, beauty, tips and tricks, what products to use, what products not to use. They go in depth with ingredients. They go in depth with what's good for you, what's not, antioxidants, glycolics everything you can think of they were talking about this serum this is the ordinary caffeine solution it is a um it is a eye serum it is supposed to reduce the appearance of eye contour and pig pigmentation and puffiness from your under eyes um i'm very excited about this my friend charlize as well she told me they were really good i asked her i was like hey have you ever heard of the ordinary she was like oh my god yes i love these products get it sis you won't regret it so i was like bet <laughs> i'm gonna try this tonight and i'm gonna try it tomorrow and i'll let you guys know how's it going also i do plan on taking before and after pictures so i can show you guys the progress progress of my skin next up i also got a face scrub because i have face cleansers and i ran out of face scrub recently my boyfriend likes using the aveeno um radiance face scrub i don't like using aveeno personally because it has alcohol and a few other ingredients that i don't like using so mm, i'll lay back off that this is the squeaky clean scrub by the body shop it also has tea tree in it i tried their face cleanser before and i fell in love with it and then I saw this face scrub and I was like, okay, it has to be just as good as the face cleanser. So let's just try it and um, we'll see how this goes. Okay, next up, I got a new concealer. I got the Kylie Jenner concealer. This concealer is in the medium with yellow undertone range around there. I'm a yellow undertone. I normally use conceal concealers in the shade medium. Like for example, this concealer by Fenty Beauty is 210, which is in the medium yellow tone. Um, this concealer by L'Oreal is 
Lads Hay 375, which is in the medium tone, the yellow tone. Um, Born This Way, I got the medium tan. And then Tarte, I got medium. I always get medium when it comes to concealers because I like to... Oof, my elbow hasn't healed since I fell down the steps. Oh, and it hurts. Um, I like to go with shade lighter with my concealer. I like to go with shade lighter with my concealer. Just one shade, sometimes two, but two is doing too much because the setting powder... Because my baking powder is already bright as it is, so I only go one shade brighter. Alright guys, and then last but not least, I got um, some new bubble baths by um, Dr. Teal. These are really good. You guys probably already seen these and heard these. Not only they are affordable, but they are really good and they smell good and it brings a lot in the model. And I find that the lavender one actually thus relaxes your body muscles. Um, I like to use their Epsom salts all the time. Plus, these were buy one, get one 50% off. So I was like, if I buy one and get one 50% off, it'll be what? It'll be like, what, $2.50? So, ew, the bottle's smushed. I don't like it when my products are smushed. So I got lavender and I got coconut. I wanted to do almond, but they were out of stock on that one. Mmm, this one smells good. Doesn't smell bad, honestly. I'm not mad at it. So, um, the reason why I got these is, number one, is because I love taking bubble baths. Number two, I want to do a how to pamper yourself video for you guys and show you guys how to pamper yourself from home. So stay tuned for that because that will be coming up. Um, I find this to be fun for me, so I'm going to be doing a lot of fun videos soon. I'm going to be doing a skincare routine. I'm going to be doing a how to pamper yourself at home, um, whether you got a bathtub or a shower. I'm very considerate, see? I consider my girls with the showers. And that's really... It. Comment down below and tell me what product you think you're interested the most in and what you think you'll buy. What product you're curious about the most. Whew. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. And thank you if you watch this entire thing. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.